Welcome back to our channel, where we explore innovative and natural solutions for everyday health concerns. In today's video, we dive into a topic that has sparked curiosity and debate, putting baking soda in your vagina. We understand that the idea might sound unconventional or even controversial, but we're here to explore the potential benefits and shed light on what actually happens when you use baking soda in this intimate area. In this video, we are going to answer three main questions that can come to your mind. Why do we suggest baking soda? How to use it? And when to use it? So make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end to find out the answers. But before we jump into our video, if you find this video helpful and informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel in order to be up to date with our latest videos. Now, let's dive in. Put baking soda in your vagina and watch what happens. Numerous varieties of vaginal cleansers can be found in the market, claiming to maintain your vaginal health and eliminate unpleasant odors. However, it is important to exercise caution before purchasing them, as many of these products contain chemicals that can be harsh on delicate and sensitive areas. Fortunately, creating your own vaginal wash is a viable alternative and not overly complicated. If you have baking soda readily available in your kitchen, you can utilize this amazing ingredient to fight against vaginal infections and maintain an odor-free environment. Why baking soda? A healthy vagina maintains a pH level of approximately 3.5 to 4.5, indicating its slightly acidic nature. Any deviation from this pH range can lead to various issues. However, employing baking soda as a cleansing agent can aid in restoring the pH balance. This is because baking soda possesses alkaline properties. When an alkaline substance interacts with something acidic, it neutralizes it. Consequently, when baking soda is utilized to cleanse the vaginal area, it assists in rebalancing the pH level and bringing it to the optimal range. How to use it Number 1. Make a vaginal wash Blend 2 teaspoons of baking soda with lukewarm water in a mug. Use this mixture to cleanse the entire vaginal area, including the outer genital lips, vulva, smaller inner lips, labia minora, and vaginal opening. After thoroughly cleansing with the baking soda water solution, rinse the area with regular water and gently dry with a clean towel. It is important not to use excessive amounts of baking soda as its alkaline properties can cause dryness. Number 2. Uses Bathing Salt Add half a cup of baking soda to a bucket filled with lukewarm water. Pour the water into your bathtub and immerse your lower body, up to your waist, in it for at least 20 minutes, ensuring that your vagina is thoroughly soaked. Afterward, take a shower and gently pat yourself dry. Number 3. Make a soothing drink. Mix half a spoonful of baking soda in a glass of water and consume it just before important occasions or when you are unable to perform vaginal cleansing. Although it may not taste pleasant, it can help alleviate symptoms of unpleasant odor and itching. When should you use it? Number 1. After your periods. Right after your period ends, the pH of your menstrual blood is 7.5, which can leave the area feeling dry and itchy. Number 2. Before and after having sex. Since semen has a pH of 7.1 to 8, it is important to consider vaginal hygiene before and after engaging in sexual activity. Number 3. After using scented vaginal wash or douche. If you have used scented vaginal wash or douche products to freshen up before a special occasion, be aware that they typically have a pH of 8. These products can potentially cause dryness. Therefore, after your eventful night, it is recommended to restore the pH balance using the baking soda water solution. Number 4. If you suffer from hormonal fluctuation. Hormonal changes resulting from menopause, pregnancy, or other health conditions can disrupt the natural pH balance of the vagina. In such situations, the baking soda remedy can be useful in restoring balance. Number 5. If you are smelly, wet, and itchy down there. These symptoms may indicate a yeast infection, which can be naturally alleviated with the help of baking soda. However, it is important to note that this remedy should not be relied upon as the sole solution for gynecological issues that require the attention of an expert. 
If you continue to experience itchiness, foul odor, or excessive discharge, even after using this remedy for more than two weeks, it is advisable to seek assistance from a gynecologist. And that's it. We hope you found this video informative and thought-provoking. If you found this video helpful or interesting, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel for more informative content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future uploads. And also, let us know in the comment section, what are your thoughts or concerns about this practice? Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.